The evidence you retrieved in Hong Kong contained nine vials of human blood samples, as well as photographs of the British Embassy in Romania. Eight of the vials were labelled with the initials of the world's industrial nations. The last vial was marked Griffin. The computer database search turned up a man named Reginald Griffin serving as a British diplomat in Romania. Griffin's behaviour has been the subject of an internal foreign ministry report. He seems obsessed with protecting a secure room in the embassy, an area normally outside his jurisdiction. We want you to infiltrate Griffin's secure room, find out what he's hiding and access his computer records. Because he's a high-level diplomat, this must remain a strictly covert investigation. We're not sure of the extent of the conspiracy, so trust nobody. Remember, too, that the guards are not suspected and may not be harmed. On that note, 007, I've provided you with a dart gun that will tranquilize but not harm the guards. I've also issued you a pair of Q-specs which can be used to see hidden doors and hatches. British embassies rely heavily on these security measures. Hey everyone, Jars of Gaming, welcome back to Agent Under Fire. In this, mission number four is the second of the levels I had to re-record. Look at them not even noticing me for coming down here. Have they no peripheral vision whatsoever? Look at them, he's almost laughing at how stupid they are. <laughs> The guards of Metal Gear Solid would not be this oblivious. Gotcha! Yeah, we don't get the golden gun, we get the just the dark gun for a while. Fortunately, it's very potent. Hello, and we got more dart ammo. That's always a plus. In we go. Now I did get a little lost here when I caught it the first time, so I hope I won't rush it, but it's definitely gonna go a hell of a lot more smoothly than before. Now another mission, we will come into this little roundabout to complete the stage, but here it's just for one of those 007s that we don't really need. Gotta be very careful here. You should be able to crawl under that table, I swear. Because if you make a lot of noise, a guard will appear. Apparently I just made noise I didn't want to make. Come on. Stay out of my way. And you will not be missed. At least not by me. Shouldn't you just sound the alarm? Yeah, if the alarm goes off, you instantly fail the mission. Which is funny, because the first time I played the game, I turned on the alarm myself. Because I said, oh, it's a button. Let me hit the button. See what happens. And the button just made life miserable. This game does have some weird controls and physics, but that's something I just found to be very humorous. These are private 
headquarters. Sorry, miss. I'm with the new security team sent by the Home Office. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. Really? Shall I show you the way? And there's no going back in there. And that's why this game really has a teen rating. Not for all the guns and violence. But because of a silhouette of boobs. I don't know why I was sounding like honest trailers. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's the other stage where you do that. M, I found Griffin. He's been tortured to death. Looks like an interrogation gone bad. No, sir. Your eyes don't deceive you. Unfortunately, I am the last thing they will ever see. Oh, just take a nap. And I still have darts. Let me see. I don't think I can collect anything. No, it's just a desk lamp. That's kind of funny. You go to... Despite our recent setback in Hong Kong, our plans will not be disrupted. You must receive and deliver our defective merchandise to Malfrave Industries in Switzerland. And that's that. It's funny, you go through one cutscene just to progress and have another one five seconds later. Now how do I get back here? Yeah, we just go back the same we came. And there's only one way to escape the embassy. And that's to come back the exact same way we came. Well, that hurt. But that's okay. The rest of this is going to be easy. Because we already took out all the guards. We just have to make our way to the exit. Yeah, that little roundabout there is just there to get in your way. We just circle back around. Like so. We can just ignore him and just walk right out the door. No one will suspect a thing. How would I do? Hmm. I'd say that's not bad. Anyway, that's all for this time. It's been Jargus Gaming. And I'll see you next time, which will be... Mission 5. Yeah, that's it. Until then, enjoy your day, and I'll see you again. Take care, everyone.